Good morning, everyone. Hello there. Welcome to Tuesday and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. I hope all is going well for you. And if it's not, I hope today is the day that it turns around for you. You know, God is able, God is able to turn things around. We rely often on our own strength, our own intellect, our own resources, our own power. <laughs> but in reality, there are some things in which no matter how hard we try, no matter how hard we maneuver things and finagle things, no matter how many friends we call, no matter what professionals we call to the situation, still it needs divine intervention, divine intervention. And no doubt God uh, put some people in our life to help us along the way, uh, people that are smarter than us, people that are stronger than us, people that have been there before us. And so God puts those people in our life to help us and give us direction and, and uh, encourage us and all that along the way. But there are some things that you will encounter in life that only God can fix, that only God can heal, that only God can supply the need of. Uh, and the Bible does say that God is rich in mercy and that also it says that he supplies all of our needs. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or God's seed begging bread. That's what David wrote. The psalmist David wrote that. And so on this Tuesday, I just want to tell you up front that if you're facing something today, that is just, it looks like there's just no way. And you've, you've exhausted all your resources. You've exhausted all the people in your life and you don't know who else to call or what else to do. I say to you today, Hey, get, get with Jesus and get with him and just lay your case out before him. Now he already knows. I know that, but you personally get that off your chest. He wants to hear your voice. Now he already knows, but he wants to hear your complaint. He wants to hear your worry and your concern. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? That is so amazing. The very God of the universe wants to hear what you have to say. The very God of the universe desires to know what's concerning you and bothering you, but he wants to hear it. He already knows, but he wants to hear it coming directly from your mouth. And when you do that, you're submitting to God. You're saying, God, this is bigger than me. And I know you're bigger than my mountain. You're bigger than my valley. You're bigger than the diagnosis. You're bigger than the letter I just got in the mail. God, you're bigger than all that. So Jesus, help me, help me. It doesn't have to be a fancy prayer. He's just looking for you to come to him and humble yourself and tell him all about it and ask for his help. There's one true God. And today you can call on him. And if you don't know, his name is Jesus. Call on Jesus today. Reach out to Jesus and ask him for his help. He is more than able, even if it seems impossible. Matter of fact, let me pray for you right now. Can I pray for you before you, before you leave, before you go about your day? Let me pray for you right now. Jesus, in your mighty name, in Jesus' name, I'm asking you, Lord, you see the need, you see the situation, you see what needs to take place. You know how to fix it, you know how to restore, you know how to give peace and strength and return the joy. And I'm asking you, Jesus, today, those watching that have a need, that have a situation, I plead the blood over them right now, God, and I ask you to help them. Help them, Jesus, I pray today. In Jesus' name, amen.